Hi there, my name is Raymond from Comet Cycle. Today, we are dissecting one of REC's fork suspension to better understand how it works efficiently compared to other forks with the same price and value. The purpose of a suspension fork is to dampen the roughness of the terrain, providing the rider with a smoother and more controlled ride. Now let's explore each major component that makes up a decent fork. Let's get on to it! What we have here is the RST first. This is the steer tube, the air valve, the compression adjuster, the stanchions, the arch, the lower legs. On the right side, it houses the damping system where you can find the dampener and of course the hydraulic oil. On the left side, you can find the spring and air. On the bottom part, you can find the caliper mount, the through axle, and of course the rebound adjuster. On this side is the dumping system, and this right here is the spring and air systems. Did you know that you can lower the travel of your fork by adjusting the height of your C-cleat? If you hear some nasty noise coming out of your fork, you might want to check out your noise dampening system. The RSD first has bigger and stiffer stanchions. Stiffer and bigger stanchion resist flex thus providing stability and precision during sharp turns and fast runs. Turning on your lockout system during uphill climb prevents the fork from absorbing the energy you exert. Air pressure and rebound system controls how the spring compresses and returns whenever you turn off the lockout of your fork. On rough terrains, air pressure and rebound adjustment dampens the fork, absorbing impacts and vibrations, thus providing a smoother and enjoyable ride. So that's it for our video today. We hope you have learned a lot about your RSD fork and how to keep it working under optimal conditions. I'm Raymond, let's rock some trail and keep on riding! <laughs>